Can you imagine a world without concrete? Concrete constitutes the foundation of what is being built in our society. It is the world's most widely used building material. Concrete is essential for the building of houses, railways, dams, tunnels, bridges, water and sewage systems, and indeed, the list continues. However, it is difficult for a society to grow without affecting the environment around us. Cement is the important binder component of concrete, and the cement industry as a whole is responsible for between 3 and 5% of the world's net emissions of CO2. As a cement producer, Norsem feels a major responsibility for the environment and for future generations. Over several years, we have made many important improvements in our production in order to reduce our CO2 emissions. We also believe that we can achieve even more than we do today. Together with our parent company, Heidelberg Cement Northern Europe, we have thus formulated a vision. Zero emission of CO2 from our products throughout their life cycle by 2030. In order to succeed with our vision, we work within five different areas. Energy efficiency, increased share of biofuel, new types of cement, absorption of CO2 in concrete, capture, storage and recycling of CO2. Every day, we work to improve energy efficiency. For instance, we use excess heat to generate district heating and electricity. We invest in wind power to secure a more sustainable energy supply. And our goal is to transport as much as possible of the cement from our plants by boat. Already in the 1980s, we started our work of replacing fossil fuels such as coal with other alternative fuels. Our plants are now using 40% alternative fuels on average. One example is household waste, which for us is a resource and which can be used efficiently in our cement production without reducing the quality of the end products. The CO2 emissions mainly come from the production of cement clinker, which is an intermediate product in the cement production process. By replacing parts of the clinker with other materials, such as fly ash and slag, we reduce the CO2 footprint from cement. Absorption of CO2 in concrete, carbonation, is a slow chemical process which takes place in the surface of the concrete. Between 15 and 20% of the emissions from cement production are in turn absorbed by the concrete construction during its life cycle. In Norway, this means approximately 200,000 tonnes per annum. The absorption can be further increased by further crushing and handling of concrete constructions. In order to reach our vision of zero emissions, we have to develop new technologies to capture CO2 from flue gases. We also need to find long-term solutions for storing or using the carbon dioxide. At our plant in Brevik, we have launched the world's first test program of carbon capture in the cement industry. Four carbon capture technologies are being tested, and the tests may be able to provide important answers regarding what is possible both in the short and long term. This test program has been supported by the Norwegian government through Gas Nova. We find that our zero vision is realistic and feasible, but we cannot do it on our own. It requires hard work and willingness to invest from various participants. We have to cooperate with many contributors, for instance, researchers, colleges and universities, politicians and customers. Norsem's plants have been in operation for almost a hundred years. Our operations have a long-term perspective and must be developed in an increasingly more sustainable direction. We would like to be part of forming tomorrow's society where people can live, develop and enjoy life. By developing the most diverse building material of our time, 
we will play a key role in the building of a sustainable society. Join us in our vision of zero CO2 emissions in 2030.